Hello, everybody, and welcome back to some more Prison Architect. Last episode, I made a couple of derps that uh, affected a couple of things within the prison, one of which, at least the biggest one that I know of, uh, because all of you pointed it out in the comments section of the last episode, is the yard. I was complaining so much that all of my prisoners were kind of just, like, crammed around the door here and weren't going out into all this new lush yard that we had built for them. And the reason for that is because it's not actually a yard. We didn't extend the yard uh, as a room and so they can't actually get to all of this new stuff. They can kind of just look in awe at all of those weight benches that they cannot yet access. And so the first thing that we are going to do today is we are going to go ahead and extend this yard all the way out to here. So hopefully uh, when our prisoners do go out for some yard time, they will stop complaining about exercise and we'll actually be able to use the entirety of the yard. The second derb that we made is one that we did figure out towards the end of the episode, but we need to set up a kennel so that our two dog handlers can actually get some rest with their dogs uh, I assume, well, the dogs will get rest. I don't think the dog handlers actually sleep in the kennel with the dogs, but I don't know. It's, it's up to them, I guess. And I've decided after much deliberation, I did spend quite a bit of time before the episode trying to figure out where to put it. Um, I'm going to put it here next to the chapel. Now, uh, it needs to be 5x5. Five five. This is a bit bigger than 5x5. Five five. It's going to be 6 tall and then 5 wide, which, like I said, is a little bigger than it needs to be. But overall, it's going to be fine. We'll leave it there, and then we'll go ahead and put a kennel just like that. We'll probably stick a staff door on there because of course we don't want any normal prisoners just kind of wandering in there and uh, playing with the dogs and also something that I didn't mention I think maybe the episode before last is the spiritual guidance program that we didn't actually set up. So I'm going to go ahead and start that. I think that does cost us somebody to run but that's fine. We can afford I think it's $250 per day uh, to get that thing up and running and keep the spirituality of our prisoners under control and the next thing is I spent quite a bit of time between episodes looking into what all all of this stuff does, and there are a couple of things that I would like. First of all, surveillance is one that I'm kind of interested in. The next is tax relief. That sounds kind of cool. The legal guy seems like he can add a bunch of stuff to uh, to our prison, uh, as well as some people said that education would be pretty cool as well. So we can't really afford to take out any of those just yet, because as of right now, uh, we only have $2,690 in our bank. However, as soon as we get the kennel up and running, we should get another $15,000 for the governmental security ratings. And also, if we go over to grant again, we do, of course, have the cell block B grant for $30,000, which we'll pretty much get in its entirety once we reach... Oh, we've already got the capacity so we've already actually completed that grant uh, straight away so we've now got thirty-two thousand dollars so let's put it back in here tax relief is probably one of the most expensive ones on here apart from offshore tax haven but uh, basically it reduces our taxes to only 15 percent so we only have to pay one thousand five hundred dollars or we'll save one thousand five hundred dollars per ten thousand dollars of daily income which uh, is going to cost us a lot to start with but in the long run it's going to help us quite a bit surveillance is one that i want to buy prison policy looks pretty cool education is one that we should get and then uh we might as well go ahead and unlock legal as well because why not that takes us down to 12,000. We don't have much money left, but as I said before, as soon as we get this one up and running here, we'll be back up to about 30,000, which should be more than enough to do what I want to do today. Now, another grant that I did find between episodes is visitation rights. This one right at the top, I'm pretty sure we've done everything in here apart from uh, add at least three visitors tables. So I'm going to take this grant out and then down here, all we need to do is go ahead and extend this room. I'm going to make it just as long as the shower room just for kind of symmetry sake. And then we'll go ahead and add probably like one, two, maybe three more uh, visitation tables into this room. That should complete that grant. Let's go ahead and make this room over here a kennel. It does need like a dog crate. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab one of those real quick dog crate. Do we need more than one? I think we might want to have one per dog. So I'll put two in there for now and see if these guys uh, actually end up using it. And it also looks like they're just outside of the power grid. So let's go ahead and run that over there. One death today. What? Someone died? Oh, my goodness. That was quite the fight in the canteen. That is not particularly good. Oh, my goodness. This guy's, this guy's dead and this guy's, like, seriously injured. Oh my goodness, please tell me some people have gone to solitary. Yeah, okay, this guy, this guy has, okay, yeah, multiple people have been sent to solitary. Okay, jeez. Well, good thing we have an infirm, right? That should work just fine. Uh, let's go ahead and quickly demolish this wall right about there. That should expand the visitation room, at which point we can go ahead and get that up and running. Uh, these guys, uh, oh no, I made it a laundry room? What? That's not what I wanted. I wanted to be a kennel. There we go. All right, that should be... Yeah, okay, that's an official kennel. They're all running back. They're getting some sleep for the dogs. There we go. 
Cool. All right, the dogs go to sleep. As soon as those dogs are finished sleeping, they should get back on the job, and they should uh, unlock this grant for us over here. Uh, and now we need to go ahead and add a few more of these visitors' tables. Let's go ahead and put, like, one there, and then one there. And actually, we can fit a few more up here as well. So we'll put two more down there. And then we go. That completes that grant as well. Nice. Now, I did see one for 55000 the Reform Through Education Initiative. Unlock education, which we're currently working on. Build a classroom. Build 20 school desks. Have 10 prisoners pass the foundation education course. And have a prisoner pass the general education course. Um... I'm going to go for that just because it gives us so much money up front. We do, we, well, we, I think we only got 15000 there. But we get another 40000 once we have this up and running. We're almost there on education. Actually, we're nowhere near there because they decided to do legal first. But once we do get there, uh, we can actually start to make some stuff. I don't think we can make a classroom just yet because I'm assuming the room doesn't actually unlock until we get... Yeah, oh no, yeah it doesn't unlock until we unlock education. Uh, so that's fine. Now, one of the things that I was kind of worried about was my kitchen. I didn't know if it was going to be big enough to house all of our prisoners. Um, or to feed all of our prisoners, I should say. But it looks like it might be doing an okay-ish job. Uh, let's go over to reports and see if people are complaining about lack of food. Not really. They're complaining about literacy. We might want to build a library of some kind. But other than that... They seem to be fine. Drugs and alcohol uh, are okay. Sleep is on the rise, but as people did point out in the comment section, uh, that's just because we're kind of at the end of the day and they're about to go to bed, so uh, that should be fine. Uh, so what I'm thinking here is, uh, we build a library. Is there a minimum size for a library? It needs to be 5x5. Five five. I am thinking that we put it, like, right about there. And I might even make it just a bit bigger so that we can actually, like, fill up this, like, nice little gap that we've got here. That sounds pretty cool. So let's go ahead and build this brick right there. Good stuff. Uh, we did get our grant for the dogs, by the looks of things. They haven't finished sleeping yet, but it looks like we do get the grant, so that's cool. Then let's go ahead and stick down just, I think, a normal dog. So I'm not really bothered uh, about anybody being able to access the library. People should be able to come and go uh, whenever they please. That should be fine. And also, something that people did point out between episodes is that you can build bunk beds. I was not aware that this was a thing, but bunk beds can actually be built. And people did recommend that I make these cells in here, these slightly bigger cells, into, into bunk beds, which actually sounds like a really cool idea. I might look into doing that. We'll probably have to do it during the day so that we don't affect, like, we don't, like, kick these prisoners out in the middle of the night. Uh, maybe during yard time or something like that. But that could be pretty cool. That could be pretty cool. Uh, we did have one death today, which does lower the valuation of our prison pr quite significantly by 50,000. But, jeez. Huh. Okay. Well, we've got this room. Let's go ahead and make this into a good old-fashioned library. Again, we've still got this issue here with that block kind of sticking up. It seems to have gone away on the chapel, so it looks like it might just be like a temporary bug, and when I reload the game, it might go away. Uh, but we're also going to need to run some more electrical cable. I might as well go all the way out to like there on that, because we're definitely going to expand this way at some point. And what does the library need? It needs a library shelf and a sorting desk. That is something that we can definitely work on. Let's have a look here. Sorting desk we'll put that like i guess right in the middle and then was it a library shelf or bookshelf let's have a look library here we go library shelf let's put like oh my goodness this thing's pretty huge let's put like two of those there and then like one i don't think it matters which way i put these so like here here and then yeah actually i'm good with that i'm good with that we've got four like library shelves you can go in there they can read and i also think some people get assigned work in the library because books get delivered to us and then we kind of have to organize them into certain places so i think we do get um like we do have some of our prisoners actually work in there as well which is pretty cool um the kennel i think is fine i don't think we have to have a garden the kennel at all times that should be okay um one thing that is a little iffy about having these guard patrols the dog patrols is that they leave but it seems like we still have good coverage of the prison, so I'm not going to complain too much about that. Um, but things are looking good. Our daily cash flow has plummeted, mostly because we have now exported all of our wood and are no longer receiving that, like, 7000 a day uh, for that, which is a little annoying, but uh, it shouldn't be too bad. 35 hours until we get tax relief? Wow. That is a lot further away than I thought it would be, but that is fine. Next thing that I want to work on, surveillance. Can we actually get surveillance up and running? Is it under here somewhere? CCTV it is. Keep an eye on your prisoners without the need for guards to be everywhere at once. You must connect a CCTV monitor to this camera for it to work. Uh, okay, so CCTV monitor. I assume we can put that in our security room, although our security room is pretty small right now. Uh, can we get one of these? Like, if I put it... Do people really need to be able to sit at the desk? Do, do they really need to be able to sit there? 
Because if not, we could kind of just put it there and see if that works, maybe. And if not, we can always move the desk forward and, and, and like jiggle some stuff around. But I think that's going to be fine. And then I assume they work in a similar way to these dolls over here. It's kind of the servo dolls, which connect the CCTV cameras uh, to the CCTV monitor and have one of our guards kind of watch it at all times to, to, to watch all of the CCTV cameras. I assume that's how that works. One guy has automatically assigned himself that job. Uh, and so where do I want to put our first CCTV camera? I'm fairly certain that we can only have so many connected to one of the uh, these things here. The first one, you know, I'm going to put in here. I'm going to put it inside the... Um, the laundry room. We're going to put it right there because right now we have no guards in the laundry room and it's a pretty small room. I don't want to dedicate a one guard just to sit in the laundry room. Uh, we could have this guy kind of walk in there every now and again, but I want to start relying... Uh, oh, this guy does walk in there. <laughs> I want to start relying on CCTV uh, a little bit more so we can maybe free up a few of our guards that are kind of positioned in random places. Like this guy, if we get CCTV in here, he doesn't have to stand there all day. Uh, the guy who is just stood in the chapel maybe doesn't have to stand there all day. We'll probably get a, a CCTV camera in the library as well. But that is connected. Let's go over to, is it utilities that's going to let us connect those up? Let's see. Connect to this and then to this. Yeah, so I think you've got to go like from there to there and then from there to there. That's made like a full section. You can see now that we can fully see what's going on within this room at all times, which is pretty cool. So let's do the same thing over in a few of the places. First of all, not that. First of all, let's do like the same sort of thing in the library. Uh, we'll also do a similar thing, I guess, in the chapel. And then we might also, or we might as well, also put one in which way is the right way around for this i think it's this way might as well put one in the common room as well and you know what uh yeah for now we'll do this i'm not quite sure how many you can have connected at once because of course this guy can only ever watch so many so we do have like a limitation of how many we can connect but uh, we'll see if this works we'll see how many are like we'll see if we can connect all three that we've just set up and, and if we can we can always go ahead and throw a few more down as well uh utilities let's connect i don't think we have to go to utilities actually but we'll connect you to you and then you to you. Does that work? It does. It looks like we have full vision of the library. Let's hit play. Yeah, it's circling around. We don't have quite full vision. It kind of moves around. But we get a good idea of what's going on in there. There's a little bit of dark spots. But overall, it's better than having a guard positioned in there like at any given time. Uh, let's go and connect this up. I don't want the light. Tab? That's the one I want. Um... No, tab. Yeah, I want the CCTV camera. Connect over to here. And then from here, background to here. And there we go. We've now got another CCTV camera in there. Nice. Um, and then finally, where was the last one? It's in the chapel. Uh, this is going to replace this guy. We're going to not We're not going to fire this guy. We're just going to like not have him patrol that thing over and over again. And then from here, background to there. That looks pretty good. All right, let's go back over to deployment. Let's get rid of that. John, you don't need to be there anymore. You can leave. We got a nice little CCTV camera. Apparently, somehow... Oh, wow. Why has that gone off? Oh, build more monitors? Can I only have, like, three? Oh. Oh, guard required. Why is there no guard here? Someone, someone get on this. Do I have to, like... How do I... How, what? <laughs> Do I have to deploy a guard to stand here? Guard patrol, stand right there. Is that gonna... Oh, well, okay, someone's there. Is it him or is it this guy? I think it might be this guy. I'm gonna keep an eye on that because we don't want to lose a visual of what's happening all around here. But this looks pretty good. We've got a good view of, like, pretty much all of the chapel. The library is on the slightly bigger side, but we've got a good view of what's going on in there. The common room is definitely on, like, the huge side. And for some, somehow, these CCTV cameras are, like, going through walls. We can see what's going on in the kennel and what's going on in this hallway as well. No idea how that's happened or if that's actually, like, true. If we can actually see what's going on here or if it's kind of an illusion. But if it, we can, that's kind of cool. Um, so that looks all good. Uh, do we want to have it anywhere else? Eventually, I'll probably have it, like, kind of... Um, in the actual cell blocks. But for now, I kind of like what we've got going on here because right now, we don't need so many guards all over the place. Let's put one in visitation. Now, certain rooms might need two. Like, visitation is a very long room. Although, we might be able to get away with that. Let's try putting one there and seeing if we can get rid of this parole, this, like, patrol guy. See if we can make him go and do some other stuff. Maybe go and rest. He looks pretty tired. But, um, let's see if this works. 
because it's a very big room. I think we're going to lose like sight of this corner every so often. But it might be worth it just to not have that guard there at any given time. So we'll do that. And we'll see. Does that work? It works surprisingly well. We also seemingly get a good view of the shower as well, which, I mean, I, I think is a thing. So let's get rid of you. You can go away. You can go do what you want. Cool stuff. We've now got our CCTV camera in there. We're now freeing up guards and essentially saving some money because we don't have to hire as many guards to compensate for all the guards that we've got kind of standing around doing nothing, uh, doing the job of a CCTV camera. So cool. We've got that up and running. Education is almost done. I kind of want to get a classroom going uh, sometime soon. Probably put it like over here somewhere. Uh, and people did also mention that I should probably put some kind of metal detector right by this room here, the uh, the visitation room. Because, uh, of course, this is kind of the one place where people can bring stuff in and out of the prison. And so what I'm thinking is we dismantle this jail door because right now it's doing nothing. And instead, we go ahead and stick down a metal detector there. And I'm also thinking, what time do we eat dinner here? Have we just, have we just eaten or are we about to eat? Uh, regime... Eat. We are 1 or 2 p.m., so we're about to eat. So I don't want to dismantle these yet, because I do still want to dismantle these ones and make, like, two more doors up here to kind of alleviate some of the traffic around this section of the prison. But before we do that, let's get a good old-fashioned metal detector, which I had a second ago. Now, uh, there it is. Let's go ahead and throw you down right about there. Uh, that is going to need its very own line of power, which it actually already has. That is kind of cool. So we'll leave that there. <laughs> We've got, like, eight people guarding the CCTV camera right now, which I guess is fine. Um, but yeah, things are looking pretty good. Is there anything else over here? People did say we should get a workshop, which is probably something we should definitely work on. And there's also a dormitory, a variable-sized room for housing multiple prisoners. The bigger the dormitory, the more prisoners it can house. So, it's the same size as a normal room, but it can house multiple prisoners. Maybe we should, like, redo these two as dormitories. And then what I'm thinking is we dismantle these beds... And replace them with bunk beds. I mean, I'm not too sure how they'd feel about that. Like, if I came home one day and my room was suddenly, like, had a bunk bed in it. And they were just like, oh, somebody else is in here now. But, as well as you. But, they will be fine. They'll be fine. The, the prisoners. They, they'll be fine. <laughs> All right. This thing, the CCTV, it looks like it's working well. Um, I guess we won't know until someone, like, dies in the library whether or not it's actually working well. But, it seems to be working okay. Even now that I've extended the yard, everyone is still crowded around this initial entrance what why <laughs> why are they all waiting to use the funds you realize this funds over here guys you know there's like funds funds over here <laughs> oh, what the heck uh, people also said i should look into wiretapping those phones uh, it sounds like intelligence uh, also likes the ability to recruit prisoners as confidential informants. Uh, yeah, we should probably get that as well. Uh, we need to kind of just work on getting everything here. We do have the lawyer now, so we should probably look into getting him an office. Now, uh, we are kind of running out of space to put offices. What I might do is have it right at the end of this hallway here. Uh, because I'm thinking I might bring, like, continue this hallway instead of continuing this one. Um, so we could probably throw down an office right there. It only needs to be 4x4. Four maybe put an office there and hire a lawyer and stick him down like there sure i mean even if we don't keep it permanently uh, we can leave that there for now it doesn't need to be behind a wall uh, although it would look definitely a lot nicer behind a wall uh, we do have a spare office desk lying around which is nice and of course the good old-fashioned filing cabinet needs to be there in the corner uh, and then that will become the lawyer's office he's got a very nice long room uh, albeit a very small like portion of it is actually his office. But there we go. We've got a lawyer, and we should be able to work on a few extra things with him now. Okay, so what time do they eat again? They eat again at 8 p.m. So they are going to eat uh, in about an hour. So I'm not going to move the, the metal detectors just yet. I will leave them as they are. They're kind of all waiting to eat. Look at them all ready and raring to go. Uh, as soon as they finished eating for the evening, I will go ahead and move it. Um, oh, is this the morning? Oh, it is. It's first thing in the morning. Okay, so what I will do is, I guess... Ooh, okay, so let's go ahead and do this now. Let's demolish this two and this two. And let's get dismantling these metal detectors. So we'll get rid of all of these. We're not deleting them. We're just kind of taking them down. ready to put them back up over here. Uh, how are we doing on energy? We're doing fine. Uh, oh, my goodness. So many arguments in the shower. We should probably maybe get a bigger shower because right now it's pretty small. Um, but there we go. Let's go ahead and put down another wall right there, so you can't get in that way anymore. Actually, you know what? I'll get... Yeah, I'm going to close it all up for now. 
Uh, and eventually, I might put two more metal detectors in here and make it another entrance. But for now, uh, I don't want to put any more metal detectors down because uh, our power is not great. Uh, and so we'll leave it like that. Uh, so there was like a fight in there. We might think about moving the shower kind of over here and making it a bit bigger. Um, because this is pretty small. It's it's pretty small. Um, we need to be quick about these door things and quick about hooking up this power here. Because right now people can uh, just walk out of the prison with um, like any kind of metal they like. So whilst they're still eating, let's try and lay this cable if we could, guys. Maybe. Why did you all just walk back to the to the to the room? Is it because they're in here? Oh my goodness! Come on, there we go. Look, you're laying the cable. You're doing you're doing the job. You're getting it done. We're getting it done. All right, they are working. Good stuff. Okay, all of our all of our metal detectors are back up and running, and they look a bit better now as well. They're not kind of in that weird half shape they were over here. So that's good. People should not be able to get in now there now without take, without going through the metal detector and shouldn't be able to take anything out like that. I just tried to do. Uh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. We have a lot of people in solitary. That is, I guess, something. We do now have education unlocked. So, let's look at getting a classroom. It needs to be 5x5, five five, but we also need to get 20 desks. Is it? Um, yeah, 20 school desks. Let's have a look here. Desk. School desks, uh, are they like one wide? Yes, they take up one slot. So, we need 20 of those. Um, so, we need to be quite big. What I'm thinking here is that we're going to go ahead. Let's go to planning real quick. Uh, I'm thinking of extending the pathway out like this this well, like too wide and kind of to extend all the way out and then putting some more rooms here yeah that looks good so let's do let's just build this whole block here it does cost four thousand but right now we're not doing too bad for money we've got forty thousand thirty five thousand now we've built this and we're about to get a bunch more wood as well which will sell for quite a bit over the next few days and should make us quite a bit more money so well, yeah let's get that up and running tomorrow we'll work on getting a, uh, a classroom in there uh, not quite sure what the lawyer's doing yet if anything but i'm glad that we have him this is doing good. We've got five guards who are doing nothing. So that's a thing. We could probably make a little bit of money back by firing a few of them. I don't want to fire too many. But we could probably do with firing a few of them just to save some money and bring some, some budget back. Like all these guys. What, what, what is this? Why are there so many of you? 12? 12, 12 seems like a nice number. I like having 12. Requires an entrance. All right. Let's go ahead and delete this two, these two pieces of walls here. That's going to make way for our hallway. We should probably go ahead and get ready to build some more walls as well. And they are kind of all working and chopping down trees over here. Uh, also, I'm kind of thinking I might put some grass down and kind of start to make our prison look a little bit nicer over here. It does cost a thousand for what is essentially a cosmetic upgrade, but it might work to, um, to make our prisoners happier, maybe, if there's grass all around there. And then I might also work on getting, like, some uh, some nice ceramic floors or wooden floors. Maybe put some wooden floors in the offices. Maybe start to make our prison look a bit less drab and a bit less samey kind of all over the place. That could be pretty cool. Uh, that has now officially become a room. Again, we've got this horrible, horrible little thing that we can't, like, quite get rid of. It has gone away in the library, though, which is nice. Uh, and then let's go to wall and let's kind of build this all the way along there. Like that. Uh, I'm going to get rid of one of these things for now, just so that we can kind of still get in and out of this room. But that's a nice amount of wood that we've got. We've got a lot of wood that we're going to go ahead and put down over here. They are cutting down these trees as well. Wow, we have a ton of um, of wood. Is this wood? Or is this? Yeah, it's, they're cutting down the trees. So we've got a lot of wood right now. Cool. 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 All right. Let's look. Before I assign the classroom size, I'm going to start putting down the desks because... We could really do with knowing how big this room needs to be before we actually make it. So, uh, what I'm thinking is we kind of do it... Do we want to put them so close? I kind of feel like they need to be spread apart a bit. But at the same time, that feels like we are wasting an awful lot of space. Um, so, if I do this... That's like 4, 8, 12. It's not quite as many as I want. Am I putting these like right back to back? That's 16. So, I guess we need like 17, 18, 19, 20? Okay, I guess that's our I guess that's our classroom. We'll go ahead and put like a wall there and then assign this to the classroom because why not? It's a big classroom, but I guess it's gonna work. Not quite sure how big that was. I'll wait until they put stuff down before we finish that up. We need a lot more workers. We've got oh we got we made room for two more prisoners by making the bunk beds, but we also only have 50, 46 prisoners. Um I think a few of our prisoners did die, which is not particularly great. Are we still under that penalty? We're not. No one's died in the last 24 hours, which is pretty good. Uh, for those who don't know as well, by the way, valuation over here, uh, what you can do is you can sell your prison and then kind of start again. 
but with a lot more money to begin with. Like last time, we didn't have much money to start with. But what we could do is kind of build this prison, sell it, and then start a brand new prison and make it like a lot bigger, a lot faster, I guess, or a lot more effective, a lot faster. Uh, can I put rooms down? I can, but I can't see. I wish I could see these tables whilst I was putting rooms down, but apparently I can't. Um, let's... Mm, I kind of want to hire a few more workers, but I think once we've got all the grass down, which we do now have, uh, they're not going to be too big of an issue. Uh, but we do have a lot of wood as well, which is good. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, where? Oh, they're, they're not even starting on the walls yet. We need to get some utilities over here. We need some more power. We need all kinds of stuff. Wow. Let's do like that, and then let's do like that, and then maybe just like uh, go all the way up and across this hallway. We might as well have to connect them up like that. Uh, we don't need to connect them up, but I'm going to probably expand upwards as well a bit soon. Uh, I might make... My, my my I was gonna say my last set of cells, but my next set of cells up like here somewhere. I might continue this upwards and have like a bunch of cells go this way to kind of round this off a little bit. That could be pretty cool. And then maybe maybe go like to like here and then have the corridor here extend upwards and build something else over in this section. Uh, just thinking about stuff that we could do in the future. Actually, I'm gonna go into planning mode real quick whilst we're waiting for these guys to kind of do stuff and uh, kind of plan for the future a bit here. I'm thinking. We're going to have, like, a, a prison go down there. Like, a nice little block cell. You know, then we're going to have, like, probably a pathway coming off this way. And we'll probably actually have, like, a full block here that goes all the way around like this. And then in the middle, we'll have, like, another block of something there. I'm not quite sure what that's going to be yet. But again, we'll probably have something come down like this. I don't know how big I want the yard to be. I might extend the yard out instead of extending this downwards. But we might also do something like that and i guess get rid of those ones and again put another like block of something there we've got a lot of space to work with and this is all kind of stuff that we can we can work on doing and again we can kind of have uh, something be up there as well there's a lot of space there these are kind of blocks that i'm thinking of having uh, i'm thinking of making this a prisoner block having like a bunch more of these cells in this section whereas ones like this where we've got paths going all the way around will probably be something like these where we have like little utility rooms maybe even a shower we might make the shower here uh, and kind of knock this like solitary section out and maybe put that further somewhere else uh, but before we do that let's go before we get ahead of ourselves i should say uh, let's uh, throw down a classroom boom what else do we need school desk we've got a flipping ton of office desk it needs an office desk wow we didn't really account for the office desk space but uh, let's have a look here. Is it not there? Office. There it is. Office desk. Uh, I'm just going to put it. Oh, it does work actually quite nicely. Let's put it right there. Cool. And that's going to be an official classroom, at which point uh, we need to have 10 prisoners pass the foundation course and have one prisoner pass the general education course. I'm assuming to make that work, we need to go over to... Where is it now? It is programs. And I'm assuming we need to have some kind of education program set up somewhere. Uh, parole hearing, we do need to set up a parole room as well. Behavioral therapy, we've got general education and foundation. We should probably start with the foundation. There are only seven interested. Nobody's interested in the general education qualifications. So for now, we'll just kind of... Why is that... What? What? What are you, what are you doing? You are fired, my friend. You, you are fired. Let's put a new member of staff down here. Oh, he can't get out. He can't get out of the room. Okay, uh, let's put... First of all, let's put a door uh, here. And then also, let's put a dog there for now. Actually, let's make that a staff dog. I don't know what that's going to be yet. I don't want random prisoners walking into random rooms um, without being able to do stuff. So let's like put another put workman down. Um, but yeah, cool stuff. We should also probably look at throwing down a CCTV camera in here as well. Just so we can kind of keep an eye on what's going on over in the classroom. Nobody is in this section right now. So I can't see what the heck is going on over here. But it, is, it does look like it's free time right now. So that might not be too big of a deal. Um, people are being caught by the metal detector. All kinds of good stuff. The classroom is up and running. But we need to connect the CCTV here to, of course, our CCTV monitor. And then from there, back to there. I assume that's working now. Yeah, it's scanning stuff. Again, we've got a, little, a few blind spots, but this one is kind of working in conjunction to kind of cover a few of those blind spots. That should be fine. That is looking pretty good. We now have two more prisoners than we actually have space for. How did that happen? How did that happen? Oh, we're taking in eight prisoners a day? Ah, let's stop that. Stop that, stop that, stop that. Closed. Not taking in any more prisoners yet. We're taking in more and more when we don't have space to take in more and more. So that's not a good idea. I guess what we're going to have to do really quick here is kind of put... We can't put another... I was going to like mirror this, but here. But we can't do that because this main corridor here is kind of the one that they have to come down in order to get over here. So 
That's not going to work very well. We might have to get into this new block quicker than I thought. Um, or maybe just make, like, these two rooms here dormitories instead of cells. Like that. And then maybe dismantle these beds and put down two more bunk beds. Not the optimal thing that I would like to have done there. I would like to have had more space for them. And I don't want to cram them in too tight. But... I don't also want to have, like, a few prisoners that don't have anywhere to go. Uh, so let's put those back down there. And that should cover uh, our needs for now. I've also got this lovely little uh, grass here. Uh, a few dark spots where the trees used to be. Is that not covered by grass anymore? Or is that... Uh, do we have to, like, put grass down? Yeah, we do. We have to put it, like, there, there, there. And, yeah, that should look good. We have, like, a nice grass area. Uh, but, yeah, with that, guys, I'm going to end this episode of Prison Architect there. Next time, we'll come back. We'll work on a few more things. I want to get a parole room set up. Uh, I want to expand our prison a little bit more, try and get some more money coming in. Although, right now, it's pretty good, mostly due to the exports that we have from all the trees and stuff. Uh, everyone seems to be doing okay right now. If you look at... Uh uh, things keep moving, I'm pretty sure here. Needs. Uh, needs are all pretty low. Everyone's pretty happy right now, which is good. We'll try and get our classroom like, up and running. We'll try and get some people to pass the education program and, and see if that works. But yeah, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, as always, be sure to hit that like button. It will just help out a lot. And I will see you guys next time.